water. So in this episode, what we want to achieve is actually to start funneling the water down, finish off a fresh water uh, supply. <music> Hey and good day and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen's Not Included. Uh, if we remember in the last episode, we just tidied up the uh, the, the the colony a little bit and and certainly got prep uh, prepared for sort of our polluted water supplies. As you said, it's probably a little bit of an overkill, um, but it still sort of puts us in a good place for for our supplies. Now while building this, we also found our first geyser, which was a steam geyser. So. Um, which is very exciting for us because it means that we can actually now get a, uh, a large amount of water. So in this episode, what we want to achieve is actually to start funneling the water down, finish off a fresh water uh, supply. Um, remembering the, the water coming down is actually going to be quite hot. It's uh, 60 degrees there and our water here is 24 degrees. So what we sort of want to have is we want to have a holding tank um, and I've just noticed in the in the biomes here that we've got a little bit of cold uh, uh, ice over here. So I think that's going to expand down in this area here. Um, and we've also found a security door. So what I'd like to achieve is to move it down to a holding tank down in this area here. Um, try and have some way of maybe possibly filtering it through the ice um, to just keep that temperature down to a little bit cooler and then move the water up to uh, the, the tank where it's actually normal temperature. I don't want to put the hot water right in the middle of the colony um, because that's just going to uh, heat up things. And already um, with the coal generator, you can see having the coal generator in the middle of the colony is just not the smartest move. It's actually um, starting to produce some heat there. So we might have to play around with that um, to just uh, to try and bring that down to a, to a normal level. All right, so without further ado, let's um, let's get in and start building. The other thing that we're going to do in this session as well is we're going to expand our accommodation a little bit so we can take on another few more duplicates, and we're also going to build uh, some food and some messing. All right, let's go. So let's go with a little bit of expansion here. Oxygen levels are okay actually, so we've done well on the oxygen, we're at 297 um, and that is only using one algae deoxinator and the algae terranium. So once we've got the water supply, then we should be able to actually um, expand our, our oxygen. So let's sweep this up. In there. So we're actually full, we're going to have to uh, expand this as well. building another storage there it's probably we need to find another area where we can actually bulk up a, a heap more storage but because of the height of the ceiling here we don't need to sort of waste it waste it here
All right, so now let's focus on, on how we're actually going to get this water. Um, the one thing I do need to watch out for is we've got the one algae here, so um, probably not the ideal situation. And also running the water directly past this wall here is going to heat up the polluted, um, the polluted water as well. So I could actually... come in we've got uh, just a small amount of polluted uh, oxygen here so I think that's what we're actually going to do as we run it down via this um, little bit of hydrogen here and just down through this biome here okay so let's uh, let's cut away I'm not going to cut it into a straight away we're actually going to do a fair bit of work before we get into into this area And I'm actually going to run this down through a downward trickle. I'm just thinking about it actually. We're going to run this down through a downward trickle, um, but then we're going to pump it up. That's how we're actually going to control it, so we'll just let it flow through freely. See so something a little bit different.
Okay, so uh, welcome back. So we've sort of done it um, a little bit strangely, but what we actually want to, to run is we're actually going to run it across across the bottom of this. So I can actually just cancel this one here. That's okay. Um, up and through and up. And as I said, I'm actually just going to let it run freely. Um, I haven't actually done it this way before. Um, I've always... Um, I've always run it through a pipe, but I'm going to keep the pipe um, down here. So we're actually going to drop a, uh, a liquid pump down the bottom here, and this is where we're actually going to ca uh, ca capture it. Now I'm actually going to seal up the door um, to make sure that uh, no water gets out. Um, and that's how we're going to um, um, make sure it sort of locks uh, locks in there. So whilst we're here, we're actually going to grab another duplicate now. I know we get a little bit of uh, lacking, a little bit of food, but we're smashing it away now as we we speak, and we should be should have this on a higher priority just to, to cook actually. So I'll just throw that in there. Um, so let's grab a do. Uh, a little bit on the low side, but we'll see how we go. So small bladder. Uh, is it type <laughs> um, changes plus two? Uh, uh, a cycle, um, ugly cry and disruptive. Uh, bottom of stomach is, means he's going to eat a lot. He won't dig. Um, we got one immunity, five immunity, seven construction. So I may grab the architect. Um, yeah, we'll grab the architect, and the architect is going to be Jackie. Yeah, why does it keep doing that? That's all right, Jackie. Jackie Noir. All right, welcome to the colony, Jackie. Jackie. There you go. All right, so you you got to earn your keep, Jackie. So first of all, we're a little bit low on the food, so we'll focus on the food. Because we've got someone on food, someone on the, uh, or two people on the research, that's why we just grabbed that extra um, uh, individual. Um, so what we're actually doing is we're going to drop the vent here, and we should be able to build it through the wall. Um, I'm actually going to have a liquid valve here, um, which I can use to regulate the water in and out coming into this tank. So once the tank gets a little bit full, if it gets full, I can actually um, segregate uh, the liquid that comes in. So we'll now throw the, um, the pipe down. Oh, this is great to actually have this little creature here. Um, and you know what I'm going to do. So what I'm actually going to do is cage this little guy in. So now, um, I 
think I might have done that done a manual airlock. It's not actually the one that I wanted. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to build a little storage container here. Then we're going to be, and then we're going to lock it. So the only mistake I made was actually put the wrong uh, door on here. And potentially, can I change that? No, I need to um, delete it and then build the new one, which I will do because I don't want to have an uh, an air problem. But let's keep going with the plumbing. That was the the first priority. So let's move the plumbing down, following the electric cable and that will drop it into the water. So now that should keep everything open and start to fill up this tank, which will actually be our freshwater holding tank. Just gonna prioritize the, the door and here, because I don't want them to sweep up. And I've got, let's have a look at our raw materials. I've got a hundred and nine ton of sandstone, so I'm actually just going to put sandstone in here. And it will make sense in a second. So basically, I'm going to put sandstone in here and let him just keep on pumping out coal. Okay, so now we've locked it, um, so no one will go inside, and what I simply do is I go to the raw material, unclick it, and it dumps out all the, the sandstone. So now what I've actually got here is I've got literally 2,000 kilos of sandstone for him to, to keep on eating on, so that will keep him fed for a while. And at the same time as he'll give me coal. So, yeah, hardly put it there. Two, three, four, five. So that will keep him fed for quite a while. And from my perspective, then I'll just slowly get uh, coal over time. If I find some more, now that under the research there's actually animal control, I'll actually catch some more and drop them in there. At the moment, we've got plenty of uh, coal anyway. We've got 23 tonnes, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But by the time we get short, this area should be nice and full of um, uh, of coal. Plus, now that we've got a pneumatic dyer in there, the oxygen is actually feeding through freely in, in there, so that's not going to be a problem either. Barbecue grill, and we want some tables. So we want a table per... Um, so I'm going to run those through to about there. And that will give us a nice collection of, I mean, four. There's seven tables there, so that will keep us going for a, for a while. And they will automatically uh, allocate those tables. By dropping that in and dropping a door, then that will classify it as a mess hall. And it actually... Um, uh, relieves additional stress for duplicates. So what I'll also do is drop a couple of paintings in the background um, and that will be a nice little mess hall. So probably the thing we are desperately missing at the moment and I've just realized that I haven't got it is actually a massage table. So as much as the vitals stress level is zero except for Jackie who's just come in. What's wrong with you Jackie? Why are you so stressed? Um, We will build a um, uh, a massage table just to sort of relieve Jackie's stress, but li relieve everyone's stress. So we'll speed that up a bit. At the moment, I don't want to build another room just yet. Um, so let's just have a look at uh, where in the existing locations. I'm just joining up this power where I could actually uh, build up this mess hall. Oh, sorry, this uh, massage table. So I'm thinking this will actually be my medical bay, um, which then will allow me one more sort of nice little covered area. 
but without creating too much work for now I'm actually just going to put the massage table uh, just here one for now should be fine just need to get the power in there so we've diverted a little bit from our mission and that's more of just sort of uh, making sure that we're maintaining everything we need to do so there's just one more thing that I've sort of noticed uh, before we get into the last bit and that is this water level is getting a little bit low now I don't want to um, certainly create or do too much here so I'm I'm actually just going to fill in this area um, to push the water up uh, and hopefully that will be enough to sort of achieve what I want to achieve the next one we want to sort of see how we're doing here and you know what the boys are actually doing and girls are doing excellent they're actually building up the tank this is getting a nice supply um, I thought this was all built two things I've noticed is they cannot build that so I'm just gonna quickly build a temporary ladder over here and that will get that fixed this one it's an unreachable build that surprises me so I would have thought from here they could actually get on there and I can understand that not being a reachable build you know I can do it the easy way and the hard way and I'm gonna do it the easy way what I'm actually gonna do is just literally build that and get rid of that and that will fix that problem and that will start the plumbing so we'll get that plumbing straight away okay so I'm just now just so we don't drown the little fellas as we're building and I'm just sort of building the pump in preparation for when we do open the facility up so we don't need it immediately and it's not going to start pumping um, immediately but uh, so the carbon dioxide is actually what's hurting them here but once we break into this area here then they will actually be able to get oxygen from the uh, from the top all right so let's just bring it down to a low level to see what we've uh, achieved so we're now ferrying the water out of here which is the the water at about 23 24 degrees because we actually want to put it up uh, to the top tank here we've been able to rescue our um, our pitcher pump to make sure that we've still got a supply of water and that's the the water that's supplying the algae plants and also watering the uh, the mill wood for our for our food we do need to tidy that up a bit I understand it's certainly not at a um, certainly what we what we need we've got our little coal generator here and it is using a bit of space and we can probably um, uh, make better use of that space uh, a little bit later on um, these guys even though they're in a heavy carbon dioxide area um, are just about to break through this wall and once they break through this wall um, then they'll have access access to all this breathable oxygen up here which is what they really need all right done so now they'll actually just sweep that up I've also been able to block in the uh, the polluted a little bit would have got out uh, only a little bit now what I can do and I might just do it because I'm a long way before I crack into this bit here um, because I ne need to empty this tank so what I'm actually going to do is just because it can survive on its own I'm just going to put an algae terranium uh, here just to um, get rid of the carbon dioxide and that will just help the guys going in there for the, for the sweeping it may have been something I should have done at the start of the build I think it's, it is an important thing to because not having the oxygen slows it down so much so he's dropped the dirt in there he's just about to drop the just needs someone needs to come with some water and then they'll be good it's not like they're short of water it's all over the place
they've dropped the algae in. Now they're dropping the water in. Awesome, and now you'll actually start this, see this area start, uh, all the carbon dioxide to start getting filtered out of it. As I said, it's just a temporary one um, to work directly on the on the carbon deox dioxide there. Okay, so we're going to finish it up there for another, you know, 30 to 40 minute session, which is what we're trying to achieve. Now, once again, I've probably um, tackled a lot in, in one scenario, and there's four we haven't sort of finished it, but it's, it's actually where we wanted to go. So we've now completed our, our water holding tank for our fresh water. Um, we will slowly build this up so they can still get their bottled water. Um, we have built the tunnel. They just need to clean that tunnel up. Uh, to our actual guys or ourselves, and we'll crack this and we'll allow this to run all the way down um, to the actual uh, the area down here. As I said, I now then need to try and work out some way of cooling that down. Uh, so in the next episode, what we'll look at doing is starting to build our medical bay, and I'll start to take a little bit of an exploratory trip down here to have a look inside this room. Also, we'll start making our way down into this area here um, whoop, where you can see it actually getting cold so that may be some of the ways um, where we can actually sort of chill down our um, our water so we'll do a little bit of an exploratory episode um, in the following episode the other one that we want to go in we've got chlorine here and we've got hydrogen uh, here um, and uh, we may use uh, a couple of those gases um, but we'll also show you a way on how we're going to generate our own hydrogen through our next lot of power. Um, and uh, through generating the, the hydrogen, we can also use the hydrogen to, uh, to, filter fact it, to filter it back in to then create uh, hydrogen power as well to not alleviate the coal, um, but take some of the pressure off of the, uh, the coal itself. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, you, yeah, hope you've uh, enjoyed the, the session. And this was to sort of start working towards a, a full sustainable uh, water solution. Thank you very much.